scientific community doesn't doesn't uh, endorse belief power of the mind creation like the secret that that film the secret scientific community is not like jumping on board with that because scientific community bases what they know off of the past facts of the past they look they look at the past they look at everything that's happened up to this moment and then they document it and that's science and that and they use what has happened to explain what's happening belief is more pro proactive than that because you're actually shifting the way you see things in the moment to create something new that's coming and like believing that it's going to happen like giving over to that belief of it where you you have to bypass the fear that it might not happen which is what that lingering fear that everyone's got well what if i say it's going to happen i believe it's going to happen and then it doesn't happen and it's that fear that keeps people stuck in just the logical way of being because there's a logical way of being and there's a figurative way of being and they co they coexist science definitely works and it definitely functions for what it is it definitely looks at the past accurately portraying it and explaining it belief definitely i looked away belief definitely affects what's happening it definitely affects our future what the human race believes is going to happen is much more likely going to happen and then there's that fear what if it doesn't happen what if i believe it and it doesn't happen let go of that fear if you believe it truly believe it it will happen let go of restraints of time let go of constricts of your life it's not a selfish you don't believe that you're the greatest in the world you don't believe you're going to have all this money like you don't believe you can you can believe that stuff it's very like it'll stress you out to to believe that you're going to have a lot of money and then you know what that's not for me to say if you want to believe that stuff you can you can it's a, it, it doesn't have any boundaries belief i keep using the word i'm overusing the word this video in this burst of thought what we focus on and how we think is the root of everything and it's important that we maintain positive focus and don't get become slaves to the things that we create because we created it all and we can create new things and we can create ways of be getting past the destruction of the pa past we create vaccines we create conscious ways around problems by talking about it we can heal we're healing ourselves i'm healing myself right now i can tell you that you're healing yourself or you can say that you're healing yourself to yourself right now you can tell yourself that you're healing in general drink water and heal so really what i want to do is not piss people off and and tell them that if they're sick with tell them that their reality is upside down i'm not doing that i'm not trying to do that i don't want to tell people that what they believe is not reality because what you believe is your reality. If you believe the medical community is the only answer, then it is for you. If you, on the other hand, believe that you can heal with your mind, and that you're healing right now, then you are. So I want to bring unity to the table. Uh, uh, the best, the most effective way of believing, of focusing, of thinking, of being. The most effective way. And that's not like a Hitler Nazi concept of like let's let's have this white anglo blue-eyed culture the best way but it's like really what is the best way because I don't know I'm I'm digging through it right now and so is everyone else so I want to spark it and inspire it to move along so that we can collectively find the best way which really is just a constant changing motion it's constantly changing the best way like as soon as 
we figure it out, then there's going to be a better way that comes along that somebody realizes or comes to because we're all, like our minds are expanding on each other's expansions and it doesn't ever stop. It ne ever. We're going to get to a place of unity where we have nanotechnology that is able to create anything. There's no need for money that you can take atoms and put them together to form molecules to put them together to form a piece of bread and then eat the bread. And that technology is happening now. Artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, and biotechnology are advancing simultaneously. And that technology, like, is going to appear, and it's going to change everything. And the money system's not going to be needed anymore because we're going to be able to build everything. There's going to be sustainability. But I think it's going to happen in response to global warming, melting Greenland, and fucking up the Gulf Stream, and sending Europe and North America into a cold time. Because I think that's the, the only thing that can happen in the world that is going to bring everyone together in the world is when the Atlantic changes. I'm, I'm afraid of that thought because it's kind of a destructive thing, but it's just like, you know, global warming. It's kind of unavoidable. We've been heating the world up, so stuff's going to melt and temperatures are going to shift. And I think in response to that, technology is going to break through because people are going to focus on helping each other, and that's going to be a great time to be alive in humanity. Right now is a great time to be alive in humanity. I've just gone on and on and on and on, but that's what we do, isn't it? I haven't watched many video responses lately. I've been afraid, but now that I've said this and talked about this, I'm not going to be as afraid. I'm brave. We are all brave. We will live. Gandhi brought some, someone shot him, but I think he was like in his 70s when someone shot him. It's a better way to go about it. If you're going to get shot, might as well get shot in your 70s. Fame, I like deconstructing fame as it's happening. That's an important aspect of it that most people that become famous don't do don't do. They're they're afraid to deconstruct their situation, I think, because they think, well, that'll that'll defeat the how I got famous. How I got famous was by not talking about it. But see the interesting thing for me is how this fame has started to develop is by talking about it, is by deconstructing the actual process itself. So interesting. I love I love deconstructing what's happening. This philosophy, this looking at it, questioning it. I'm gonna stop the video. I don't want it to go over ten minutes.